There's one ETF that gives you ultimate diversification with companies all over the world. Just investing in this one ETF, you can't get more diversified. Now the S&P 500 is the most famous index fund, but it's not the most diversified. There's only 500 companies. Then there's the total US stock market index, which has over 4,000 companies, but those are all in the United States. So yes, it's very diversified, but only in one country. What happens if China decides to collect on our crazy debt and then we have to raise taxes so much that corporations lose crazy profit and thus the stock market in America declines immensely? Or what happens if the rest of the world has had enough of America being the superpower and they band together and not buy our products anymore, so we lose market share big time and because of that lose a bunch of profit and because of that, the stock market drops. My honest opinion is that neither of those scenarios are gonna actually happen, but that it might make sense to make sure that you have the right type of diversification within your portfolio. The best investors do diversify, they just do it differently than you might think. I'm Nolan Govea, my students call me Professor G, and I made this channel to make investing simplified. So let's look at VT, which is the Vanguard Total World Stock ETF. This seeks to track the performance of the FTSE, global all cap index, which covers both well-established and still developing markets. I do like that because a lot of international funds just center around developing markets or emerging markets. And so I like that this has both of them. This one also invests in both foreign and US stocks. Be careful when searching for funds like this one, because even though the name might suggest that it is the total world, because it does say something like, blah blah world ETF, look at the actual holdings and look at the actual companies that's represented within the fund because most of those funds are the whole world minus the United States. And that's much, much different. This ETF has a blend of almost 10,000 stocks. Talk about being diversified. It also has a PE ratio under 20, which is great. And it's composed of a blend of both growth and value stock. VT is mostly composed of stocks from North America, but then also from emerging markets, Europe, and Pacific. While it is a total world ETF, its top 10 look very similar to that of the S&P 500 and the total US stock market with companies like Microsoft, Apple, Nvidia, Amazon, Meta, and Google all in the top 10. VT is about $110 today and year to date, it's up almost 8%. For the past year though, it's up a whopping almost 23%. Now this is a very nice return that any of us would be happy with, especially to gain that in a year, but for perspective, the S&P 500 returned over 30% in the last year and QQQ returned almost 43%, which is double. But there are a couple reasons why this ETF might be something strong to be adding to your list. And with this next section, I'll tell you exactly how the richest investors diversify properly to not only build wealth, but also maintain and sustain their riches and to keep them very safe through any market downturns. First though, I wanna give a very special thank you to the sponsor of this video, Surfshark. Diversification is all about keeping you safe and investing, but what about keeping you safe using the internet daily for literally anything? Most of us do our investing online. I know I do. Using a VPN service that keeps your information private is so important these days. A VPN keeps you safe and private by covering up everything you do online. When your device connects to the internet, all that information is in a way blurred out. This gives me ultimate peace of mind. Also, I'm always on the go or in different cities and doing my work in different coffee shops. So connecting to public Wi-Fi is always a bit scary. With Surfshark VPN though, I can access my bank safely and make my ETF buys on my investing accounts without the threat of an attack. You can and should use it on all your devices to stay very safe. And here's the best thing. You can try this out for 30 days with a money back guarantee. Companies only offer a guarantee like that fully refundable when they know that their product is going to stand the test. With my code below, you actually get 90 days for free. Get Surfshark VPN at the link down below in my description and enter promo code Professor G to get three months for free. So as a recap so far, VT is a solid fund. No doubt about it. It has a low expense of only 0.07%, which is typical for Vanguard funds. It has almost 10,000 stocks in the ETF. So when you invest in this one ETF, you hold a small piece of almost 10,000 companies. It invests in companies all over the world, not just outside of the United States. And it has a solid return. 
like I said earlier, it does have an almost 23% return in the past year, but we care more about consistency and long-term. So let's look at the 10-year average. In the past 10 years, it's had an average appreciation of about 8.5% per year. Definitely not bad. Since 2008, so about 15 years, it's more like 7.5%. Here's the main thing with diversification. Obviously, it's never a smart move to put all of your eggs in one basket, like investing in just one company stock, I think we all understand that. It's also not smart to invest in only one sector, like technology or something, even if it is absolutely crushing it right now. So you wouldn't want to invest in just technology type ETFs, like VGT or FTEC or SMH, because if something crazy were to happen and the tech sector suddenly got hit hard, your net worth would be depleted. So diversification is good, but over diversification is very harmful. Yes, holding companies in different industries and even in different countries does sound smart, but at what cost? What is the actual why behind your investing strategy? If it's just to be as diversified as possible and to do so within just one ETF, then yeah, this thing takes the cake. But if your goal is to build wealth the fastest and have the best return over the longest period of time, this may not be your number one choice. Your strategy better have way more to do with the possible return that you're gonna get, way more than something like diversification or over-diversification in that regard. For reference, the S&P 500 has about 500 companies and it has companies from 11 sectors. That's quite diversified and the only thing that it doesn't have is companies from other countries. But let's compare apples to apples. Where VT had a 10-year appreciation of about 8.5% per year, VU has a 10-year appreciation of about 12.66%. Since inception, VT had about 7.5% yearly appreciation, where VU has had a little over 14% or Double. To further drive this point home with an example, we're going to use the 10-year average for both and show you how much money you could actually make in choosing one versus the other. If one invests in VT for 20 years and started with $10,000 and invested $500 per month and received the average of that 8.5% from before, they would have about $352,000. That's a solid amount. But had they instead invested in VU with that 12.66%, they would have over $600,000. That's almost double just by picking the better ETF. Now I'm not against diversification and I'm not totally against investing in outside countries. I just believe that the largest US companies are going to be taking over market share in those emerging countries at some point and so I'd rather invest in the US companies that are crushing it now and that are pretty much gonna crush it for a while here. So at the end of the day, I don't really invest in too many international companies or ETFs, but that doesn't mean that they're bad. For those of you that want to and wanna have some exposure outside the United States, it'll help you sleep at night. I would recommend that you do so, but I would also recommend that you do so with a portion of your portfolio, a small portion, 10, 15, maybe 20%, but not putting in the vast majority of your portfolio a total world ETF. Instead of a dedicated core position of VT in your portfolio, I'd rather you take that 10% and get an ETF like VXUS that is purely international companies so that you can dedicate the vast majority of your portfolio to the best type of ETFs or positions that will grow your wealth the quickest while keeping you safe. In this video here, I go over my three fund portfolio and why this is all you'll ever need. Or watch this video to keep you going strong in this investing journey.